You have to be a lot more honest and a lot more real in what you do. We are dancing, but we have moved our dancing into their environment. If a child is not interested in what you're doing, they're not going to watch you. So the idea is to have artists come into kindergarten schools and then just play with the children. If there's one thing that artists and children have in common, it is the, the talent for playing. So when they play together, it actually becomes natural for them to actually interact. Hi, Mia. Hvor er det dejligt at se jer, og hvor er det dejligt, at vi må komme. Og det er Christian. Og det er Karl. Og det er Rosie. For me, it was the first time that I've really worked with kids. Um, so I went into it really without any expectations or ideas of what was going to happen. I think at first I was very much kind of trying to entertain or trying to gain some kind of reaction or draw the children in um, and projecting a lot towards them and kind of almost becoming a character or clown kind of figure and I think I quickly realized that that wasn't really the aim of this project and that wasn't so productive. Um, over the next few sessions that shifted and it became more that I would go into the space and begin an improvisation which was an exploration for myself and wouldn't be seeking to entertain but rather to draw the children in of their own accord. Like for us with the hands. Oh, yeah, the, yeah that was good. You really have to, nice. yeah, it turned into something really yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. But it took, I felt like, I, I could have left it. I don't know, yes. there was a moment I was going to leave it, but, but it like was if, worth. If you, you are investing in something, then they, they're almost attracted to the fact that, yeah, like they exactly. almost know that you're investing something, so something must be interesting and must be happening. Then they all gather around, then, then they make it, the yeah. decision of, oh, is it good, is it exciting, or, you know, if it's not, then we'll move on to something else. <laughs> Quite quickly we found out that actually breaching, breaching um, through everyday objects, that being sand, uh, buckets, uh, uh, grass uh, that is in their environment. There was a moment in which uh, myself and the other dancers uh, picked up these small sticks from the ground and we were passing them to each other um, and we began passing them to the children as well and we moved towards a space there was a hill in the playground and we started building something in the soil on top of the hill and it was just really nice to see that even the boys who had been the most aggressive or intent on destruction we're now really wanting to get involved and to bring like small leaves and twigs to to help build this thing together instead of trying to do more do less yeah. and really just like whew, okay and then let, let for us, and like the children, the environment ins inspire. If you trust a simple idea, something will come out of it. And sometimes you have to go through a little bit of discomfort. Mm. So yeah, these things occur very exactly. naturally. And I think when we try to force too much, we miss a lot of uh, like these natural moments yeah. because mm. we're kind of tunnel visioning ourselves into creating something when actually there's already a lot going on mm. around us anyways, so, yeah. So I really want children to experience art when art is created and not just when it's done, when they can see the theater piece or they can see the painting. So I really think that is the most intriguing thing about art and that is what will inspire the children to work with art and to perceive art. Let's uh, sit in a circle like we do in Danish pedagogics. Today we should just go with the inspiration. We should remember the children, we should envision them. The performance that we do later this day in the forest with the cameras running is 
like it's it's for the children children as if they were there. But we recognized okay there is certain elements that really work. How can we take them into a studio and then work within our environment as artists and then again move it into another uh, collaboration. And uh, we talked about in the music and in the dancing about the repeating thing, you know, the falling, getting up, falling, like, so there's this circular movement in it. Um, and in the music we talked about the music and the rhythm like falling apart. We're working with uh, a playbook which takes kind of scenarios which occurred um, during the visits to the kindergartens. So we hope to bring that sense of playfulness into the performance. That moment for me was just so nice. I was just looking in the water at myself like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just amazing. I could see the reflection of the sky. It was gorgeous. Yeah, we got Paul Rose's solo and then stuff. Yeah, do we ask him? Yeah. solo then stuff. I don't think that did it no. quite justice. Okay. Was it too cramped? It was just weird. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling. And it's really exciting to see how, how all these meetings with children inspire artists to go somewhere different and do something else. Uh, and I really hope that this will live on in, in each of the artists in this project because they have been doing their art the way they are good at it, but with inspiration from someone completely different than they're used to.